Well, we call our project Project Half Shell because it's a homage to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles hanging out in the sewers. Guy in the blue, his name's Creston Mansfeld. He's our professor. He's done a lot of really cool stuff around the world with different water systems and epidemiology. So that's an interior of a manhole. It's one where it's servicing the dorms on campus. So what's flowing through here is actually domestic wastewater. Things we send down the drain, either through the toilets or through showers or laundry systems. Basically any drains that are coming out end up flowing into these river networks that exist underneath most municipalities and cities. Here we're most interested in what's coming out of the toilets in feces. Because that seems to be where individuals can shed the SARS-CoV-2 virus here. COVID is in your intestines and so even if you don't have symptoms or before it actually is more of a disease or infection, it can be found in your intestines. So if you shed it into the sewer system, you can kind of determine if people have it, even if it's before they have symptoms or if they don't ever have symptoms. Yeah, so that's actually what you're seeing there is a peristaltic pump. What they're doing in the pump is they're helping to set up a way to collect the flow. Through 24 hours, it flows into a jerry can. And then every day, the sampling collection team will get a few vials of it to send back to the lab to be able to test whether or not it has COVID in it. There's a huge sampling team that when you take it into the lab, they go through all the procedure to actually find if there's any of the COVID-19 virus in it. A single sample here is reflective of uh, hundreds of people's contribution. So instead of having to individually collect saliva samples from 200 to 400 people, barcode all of the individual ones, we can take more of a combined and anonymous approach so that we have a monitoring but not a diagnostic signal. If you want to just close that up, we are actually good to be done. We got a site operational. During testing, like we initially turned the system on in early September, end of August, pretty much simultaneously we started to see a lot of spikes within the system. This led the administration to actually invoke some of the social distancing options that were available. We're returning to a phase where the sewer system is showing that it's a non-detectable signal for SARS-CoV-2. Wherever you have mass uh, amount of people in a specific building, so at nursing homes, at high schools. This potentially would provide a lower cost way to monitor a signal for viruses such as SARS-CoV-2 or other pathogens over time.